Meanwhile, getting a sense of what Cleopatra, an Egyptian pharaoh's, smelled like, an Israeli PhD student of Egyptology has sniffed out the ingredients and bottling them for modern day noses and even exhibiting her blends at the National Geographic Museum in DC. Let's take a look in my next report. Oh, the very first ingredient that you use would be Styrax, then it would be Sweet Flag, then Mastic, then Pine Resin, Camphor, and Gumi Arabicum. Dora Goldsmith is literally formulating smells from nearly 5,000 years ago. By looking, touching, and smelling, ancient Egypt comes back to life a little bit every single time, and that's extremely powerful. Dora is an Israeli Egyptologist getting a PhD at the Freie University of Berlin, researching the archaeology of the senses and the importance of smell in how Egyptian culture perceived the world. The king has the best smell and everybody else stinks, which is kind of what was going on in ancient Egypt. Where there was a very strong olfactory hierarchy where um, the gods had the best smell and then the king, because the king is um, also divine. We have chamomile, which was a part of Tutankhamun's floral garland placed on his body. She studied thousands of texts with clues into the ingredients of the most common perfumes and is making them in her lab. What makes them so skilled in perfume making is their knowledge of all the resins and all the plants. Perfumes like kefi. So we have some styrax in here. And we have pine resin as well. And mendesian, which uses myrrh and cinnamon. It's decent and, and luxurious, very feminine, I would say. But we do know that Cleopatra loved perfume. She most likely wrote a book on cosmetics. It is logical to assume that she used mendesian. Dora has found clues into the natural ingredients used to mummify kings and queens. So for example, some moss, beeswax, which is melted, and then poured on the body and um, inside cavities to seal them. The ancient Egyptians believed preserving bodies assured immortality and a glorious afterlife. They made a cut here, and then they took out all the internal organs, except for the heart, they left the heart in place. Then they wrapped the body, in linen and, and uh, mummification bandages. She also says the Israelites did not leave everything behind when they left Egypt to the land of Canaan. The Jews took a lot of the olfactory culture of ancient Egypt with them when they left Egypt. Dora is using her sixth sense to share her knowledge through lectures and workshops. And who knows, maybe taking a sniff will give us a free pass to the afterlife. Emily Francis, I-24 News.